What's up, King Creator fans? To begin, we need a few ordinary matches and a ping pong ball. I was never good at this game. I always hit the ball 10 meters away from the table. Now, with a watercolor marker, if possible, mark the circumference of the ball. It doesn't matter if it isn't perfect because it will only serve as a guide. For the next step, take a sharp box cutter and cut the ball along the line as shown on the screen. Be very careful not to cut your fingers. Once cut in half, clean them with a bit of soapy spray and a napkin to erase the marks made previously. Set aside both parts of the ball and the matchbox cover. Then take a few matches. This will be our first ingredient. And cut them in half with some tweezers or pliers. I think I'll make them a little shorter. Take the matchbox cover again. And with a pair of scissors, cut out the red strip on the side of the box. The truth is, I don't know what this part of the box is called, but I've never had the need to name it until now. If anyone knows what it's called, tell us in the comments. We'll get rid of the leftover parts and fold the strips in half. They should look like the letter V. Now, our super glue comes into action. Place some on back of both strips and glue them, forming a cross in one of the halves of the balls. Then cut off the excess with a pair of scissors to prevent them from getting in the way of the next steps. Take the pieces of matches that we cut earlier and place them in the middle of the ball with the strips. Move this out of the way to make room for the toilet paper. Tear a few squares and fold them. Don't forget to thank the toilet paper for its help. Now, our friend the box cutter will help us generate these wax shavings scraping a candle you find around your house. You guessed it! For the next step, we'll need some mints of your choice. I'll use Tic Tacs. These must be crushed using a hammer, pliers, or any heavy and hard object. Add the last ingredient to the pile and close the napkin, creating a kind of bun. Bring back the other half of the ball we prepared before and put the bun in upside down. Create one other and place it in the other half. With both parts ready, we just need to put them together using some tape, as you can see on the screen. We need to clean up our work area. What would your mother say if she saw the mess you made because of us? Cut a piece from an aluminum roll using a ruler to make it as straight as possible. Then, using the same ruler, make a couple of folds. Make it as flat as possible. Place the ball in the center of the foil and wrap it up completely. Twist the rest so that it closes at one point. All ready! It's time to test how it works. Be careful not to blast it indoors or near any living thing for God's sake. The next invention is aerodynamic, all-terrain, automatic, and you can make it in different colors. We will start with four tires from one of your younger brother's toys. You can take them off of a remote control car. We will also need a toy motor, so dismantle the toy altogether. Later you can make it up to your brother with an ice cream or something like that. Take a tire and attach it to one of the motor pivots. Do the same to the other side. It's going great! With one ready, repeat the steps with the other two wheels. I hope your brother has enough remote control cars to support this invention. Set aside the wheels and print the design of our car on a piece of paper. Since straws are so bad for the environment, let's recycle them by building this structure. Place the straw over the design and use the lines to measure the sizes for each part. 
Cut off the excess. Each piece will be custom made. We'll do the same with each of the parts. This step can be a bit monotonous, so in the meantime, let's talk about your experiences with the inventions on this channel. Tell us in the comments what inventions you've made. If they've helped you with a school project, to solve a day-to-day -day problem, or if you simply like to create new things with what you find, like me. I would love to hear about your experiences, since all of you are the real reason for all of this. Back to the invention. We only need one last piece of the body. With super glue, we will proceed to join all the pieces where each of them meet. Make sure they're all firmly attached. Once the body is complete, glue it to the two engines with wheels that we built in the beginning. We'll need plenty of super glue to avoid an accident on the road. To give the design of our car a more complete look, place a handlebar made of straw and tape. Then draw the seat on a piece of cardboard and cut it out. Carefully glue it to the part you see on the screen. All that remains is to finish the electrical system. Connect one motor to the other by inserting the copper strands of wire into the pins. Then it's time for the famous procedure with the switch. The spare battery and the cables with a clasp. Connect the wire clasp to the square 9 volt battery and the red wire to one of the switch pins. The black wire will connect to a pin of one of the motors and the second to the switch pin. Everything is ready! There goes a first class vehicle! Look at how fast it goes! Not even a Formula One car could beat it! I had a hard time keeping up with it to get these impressive shots. It can even do tricks. I think I'll trade in my everyday car for this awesome off-roader. For today's last invention, we'll need a strong light bulb. We will also need some aluminum foil. Fold it in the short way and roll the light bulb up like I do on the screen. Close one of the ends and take out the light bulb. Actually, the light bulb won't be a part of this invention. We just needed it to give shape to the foil, which will be the container for the magic firework material. With a pair of scissors, we will cut a few slits around the edge. Now we'll need a ton of matches, so I recommend buying a whole lot of them. Look how new they are! Take one of these boxes and a container where we can put all the matches we'll need. Forewarned is forearmed. I told you we would need a lot of them. I also hope you have a big garbage can. With your hand or the help of a container, move the match heads into the aluminum canister until they reach the beginning of the grooves. Insert a pencil into the middle of the matches so that when we close the aluminum tabs, there will be a small hole for the wick. Remove the pencil and check that everything is okay. The next step is to assemble the base that will support the container. Measure the stick using the aluminum container and mark it with a pen. Cut it with the help of a saw or hacksaw. We will need a couple of water bottle caps to hot glue to each end of the stick. They look like a small pair of tires. Clip a wooden clothespin to the stick and put more hot glue on it to attach to the container. The final step is putting the wick into the opening of the container. Our firework launcher is ready. To activate it, just light the fuse and run for your life. The magic will happen on its own. Look how beautiful it looks. What a sight to see.
Thanks for watching our inventions made out of household items today. Follow my channel if you'd like to learn more about making simple yet incredible inventions. Also, click on the link to see more videos about my amazing inventions. Click on the link to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.